What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sensrum and welcome to the channel. Sorry I look a lot different today. I'm just leaving work. Looking a little scruffy. It's midweek. Well, it's actually Thursday. The weekend's week is almost over. But I just wanted to <laughs> What's up, Gimel? Huh? <laughs> so I just wanted to record this so I could document what is going on with my Silverado, my daily. I haven't done a lot of content with it. Everything I've been doing lately has been for the 300, but I'm just gonna have to show you guys. So what's been going on with the truck is I've been having a check engine light coming on intermittently, which is P0302, which is cylinder to misfire. Now, every time that happens, I'm also getting service engine light, or not service engine light, I'm getting traction control and stability track light. And that'll stay on until I put it in drive, drive, and in between first and second gear, it shifts so absolutely hard like something's gonna break. Not a performance shift, not a gradual shift, like a very hard something is gonna break shift. And then it'll just go away. But the check engine light will stay on. So I could not find anything online until recently I found that cylinder 2 and cylinder 7 are notorious for going out on these LS based motors which my Silverado has a V4.8. It's a 07 Silverado first year. Anyways, I had not had any ticking or anything. I've had a pulley I've believed have been going bad. It's been a real squeaky pulley which you'll probably hear. But I'm going to go ahead and start the truck, I'll pop the hood, and we'll get some audio of it. Then I'll get driving, and we'll see if we can hear it at stoplights. Then once I get home, I'm probably, if it's not raining, it's been a real cold, wet, rainy day. If it's not raining, I'm going to pull the belt, and then start the truck again to see, to see if that alleviates the squeaky problem, which we'll see if it's even squeaking, it might not be. on you can probably already hear the ticking See if I can get some audio while we're driving. All right, so as you can probably hear, ah. All right, so we just got home. We have no check engine light. Let's see how it sounds. Just did a 20 minute drive here. Now we have no squeak. Really don't know if that tick is gonna go through the audio. See if I can just give it a little gas. I don't know 
squeaky. All right, guys, so what do you think? Do I just have a bad pulley, bad belt, or do I have a bad lifter? I'm gonna have my mechanic check it out. If not, man, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've had similar issues with your 536048. If you have, I've heard that cylinder two and cylinder seven are issues in these trucks or in Chevys in general. Now, I will be calling Texas Speed and Performance, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a cam swap with new lifter springs. Go ahead and fix the issue if it is the issue if not <laughs> we'll figure it out after we do the cam swap hopefully that is the route that i'm going money i wasn't planning on spending especially on the daily but it happens we gotta tear this apart i can't have my truck down for too long and this ticking and not knowing what's going on ah it drives me nuts so let me know what you guys think. Um, this is new to me. i am never had a lifter issue, never had a... Oh, I can hear it more now that I'm just sitting here idling. Never had this issue in any of my vehicles ever, so this is new to me. You guys may or may not know more than I do about motors, so chime in, comment below, let me know. I will update you on the progress of this as we go. I wanted to document this whole thing and have the beginning sounds and then we'll do a full tear apart if we cross that bridge uh, if you like this subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications we should have more 300 content coming up soon maybe and as you can tell the weather here in Texas is crazy I'm in a hoodie and it's cold and rainy and my last video was sunny and nice I was in shorts walking around showing the car off good old Texas so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. So I didn't get the check engine light, but there is the Stabila track and the traction control light. Probably didn't get the check engine because I just deleted it recently, but this is consistently what's happening.